Hi, my name is Rob and this is the Garmin Phoenix 5X and this is my uh, Garmin Phoenix and um, I just thought I'd do a, a quick comparison on how quickly they pick up the GPS signal and see if there's any differences so if I just click on this one so there's going to be about a second delay between the one and the other ready one two three go go There we go. It's already ready on the um, Phoenix 5X. And the Phoenix 3 is still, still waiting. Now. If we go to system. Closeness is on, and I've set that to. Yeah, here we go. It's going to get it. So, um, as default, Garmin set this to um, standard GPS, um, and you have to go in and alter this in the settings to have uh, the glossness on. Now, on the Phoenix 3, you could only switch it on and off um, for everything. Um, on the Phoenix 5 you can switch um, the GPS on for individual applications so you do actually within the within the app itself um, you know, turn the metronome on there uh, run settings so it's actually now come on where is it yeah so there you go you choose that now actually in the application so this is finally picked up here GPS signal so do that again just see if it picks it up quicker this time yeah it's almost instantly picked it up so I don't think that was really a fair test if I was to um, turn these back off again and go to run click on run because it's probably already located itself now yeah they're both switched on instantly um, so I'm gonna have to switch these off and redo the test again sort of go inside so it loses its GPS signal um, to test them again I've, I've done this two or three times and um, that was uh, kind of an unfair review to um, show that one taking quite so long um, I thought I had an issue with the new 5X because um, the last couple of times I've gone running um, it's taken over a minute and then I realised that the Glossnas was not switched on um, and it makes a huge difference with acquiring satellites if you don't have that switched on um, it takes a long time to acquire enough satellites to get a lock um, there we go, we've actually lost GPS signal there and it's back on again um, <coughs> it's losing it back on um, so it's it's good to have it on. I can't see any downsides of not having it on. I don't think it takes up any more battery. Um, it's not less accurate as far as I believe. Um, so if anybody's got any comments of using it and not using it, the only thing that I've found is it takes, if you don't have it enabled, it takes a lot longer to get that GPS lock um, than not having it enabled. So I don't know why it's not enabled as default, but there we go. So that was just, wanted to show you a comparison of the two. Um, the Phoenix 3, um, you can only switch it completely on for everything, Glossnas on or off, whereas with the new um, Phoenix 5, you can switch it on or off per application, but pain in the butt is that you have to go into every application and switch it on. Um, but there we go. So it's a nice feature to be able to, um, I suppose, to have the choice of what you want to do, um, than, um, than have it either just on or off. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's been informative for you. If you've got any comments, please leave them below. Um, um, any ideas for um, um, GPS quality. Thanks for watching. My name's Rob. See you in the next one. Bye.